Make sure the design is nice and central. It's too tight, or you can't quite get the hoop over it, it's just loosen it a bit more. Then you can just move the fabric gently as you go around. You don't want to um, stretch the fabric too much, so just be careful. Mm -hmm. So when you press down, the fabric you shouldn't be able to touch the table. So I'm happy and can go ahead. So the floss comes in six strands. So when you get it, it will it will have six strands. Um, I'll start with the outline with only three strands. The kit comes with size 7 needle and three strands is really the maximum you can put in it. So if you're using um, the PDF pattern um, and you want to use the whole six strands, um, you have to use a different fabric. This is cotton, so something like size 7 is perfect. If you want to use all six strands, you have to go for much bigger needle and much looser fabric. I like to make a knot just at the end of my thread. So this line would be just a little bit too long, um, so I'm going to split it in half. So I went ahead and threaded a needle with only two strands and now I'm going to do the running stitch. As I mentioned earlier, if you prefer, you can carry on using your you know, three strands. If you like the look of it, go ahead. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's literally just what you like. You don't even have to do running stitch if you prefer you can do you know straight stitch it's it's up to you whatever you like the look of Ok, 
Okay, so next up I'm going to complete the scissors using only two strands um, because there are quite a lot of corners in this design I don't recommend using more than two strands but again it's personal preference so have a go and see see what you what you prefer really so same as before just following the lines So here I'm going to do a French knot, um, so hold the thread with your left hand and then we will wrap it twice around a needle, keep it taut and then don't go with the needle in, in exactly the same spot as you came out, go slightly next to it. There you go. You might want to, if you haven't done French knots before, you might want to practice on the fabric outside of the hoop. Um, and if it's really giving you trouble, just use um, a very, very short stitch. Whatever works best for you. Let's do the French knot again. Hold the thread with your left hand, then wrap it, wrap the thread um, around the needle twice. So I'll show you again. One, two, and then you go in. Make sure you keep the thread nice and taut. And go. So I started on the love heart and I'm doing a satin stitch um, which is a series of um, straight stitches as close together as possible um, and I always like to start in the middle so I finished the right side and then moved on to the left side. I think starting in the middle just gives me a bit more control that way I can make sure my starting stitch is nice and straight, it tends to be the longest stitch as well, especially if you're doing something like a circle. Um, it's just my personal preference and that's what I would recommend. If you haven't really done satin stitch before, it might be worth, again, just practice on the side of your fabric. 
and if if you really can't get the hang of it just yet um, maybe just do a running stitch like we did here you can just use the outline I think that will look really nice as well just see what works the best for you so here we go here's the finished hoop you could still add more to this you could add um, a running stitch so that's this one going all around just to sort of frame it or you could add more lines inside the dress form and the sewing machine or add a year at the bottom or name whatever you fancy really to finish the hoop this one's not actually finished I literally just um, folded the fabric over so to finish you have several options um, you cut round and then you can either glue the fabric to the inner side of the hoop using something quite strong I used Gorilla Glue before and that worked really well or you can do a running stitch or gathering stitch um, all around then you pull the thread and it will gather it all nicely and that way you don't have to glue it if you do want to hide the back you can use something like felt and again either glue it or what's slightly better is actually sew it on using something like a blanket stitch but I'll do a separate video on that